we are a curious species always looking up at the night sky and wondering, are we alone? This ancient question drove our ancestors across oceans and in the 20th century, inspired us to build ships of metal and fire, spacecraft to explore the cosmos. Among the boldest of these was Voyager 1, launched in 1977 as part of a grand tour of the outer solar system, its mission to visit Jupiter and Saturn, sending back images and data that would forever change our understanding of these distant worlds. Voyager 1 became our robotic emissary, its cameras and sensors extending our senses into the unknown, it revealed Jupiter's raging storms, volcanic moons, and Saturn's dazzling rings, breathtaking discoveries that rewrote textbooks. But its journey didn't end there. After its planetary encounters, Voyager 1 was set on a one-way path out of the solar system, destined to become humanity's first interstellar traveler. It would drift silently for millennia, a ghost ship from a small blue world, carrying a message for any who might find it. This was always the plan, to send a symbol of our hope and curiosity into the cosmic sea. Voyager 1 is a testament to our longing to connect, to reach beyond our grasp. It carries a greeting to the stars, a message in a bottle, cast into the vast darkness. Even as a tiny speck in the universe our dreams are boundless. Our reach, through Voyager, extends far beyond our home. It is a symbol of our intelligence, our hope and our desire to know what lies beyond. Voyager 1 is our message to the cosmos. We were here, and we dared to explore. Imagine traveling for nearly half a century. Voyager 1 has done just that. Every second it speeds 11 miles farther from us, now over 15 billion miles away. That's more than 160 times the distance from Earth to the Sun. Light itself takes over 22 hours to reach it, making communication a slow, patient process. A single command takes nearly a day to arrive, and a reply takes another day to return. This delay highlights the vastness Voyager 1 is crossing, a lonely outpost in the cosmic wilderness. In 2012, it crossed the heliosphere, leaving the sun's protective bubble and entering true interstellar space. Now, it's exposed to cosmic rays and the faint breath of the interstellar wind, a first for any human-made object. Voyager's power comes from a nuclear battery, but its energy dwindles each year. NASA engineers have shut down instruments one by one to conserve power. Many systems have gone dark, yet its main transmitter, the spacecraft's voice, remains a faint beacon in the endless night. Voyager 1 is slowly going to sleep but its journey continues. It's our first direct sample of the galaxy beyond the sun's reach. Even as its systems fade, its legacy grows. Voyager 1 is the farthest wanderer from home, a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. Its signal, though faint, still connects us to the stars. What would you say to an alien? Voyager 1 carries our answer, the golden record. This 12-inch gold-plated disc is a time capsule of Earth created by a team led by Carl Sagan. It holds 115 images, mountains, oceans, animals, and people from every corner of our world. There are diagrams of our solar system, our DNA, and scenes of daily life. The record is not just for seeing, but for hearing. It contains the sounds of wind, rain, ocean waves, birds, and a humpback whale. Greetings in 55 languages, ancient and modern, offer messages of peace and friendship. And then, the music, nearly 90 minutes spanning cultures and centuries, from Bach and Beethoven to Chuck Berry, from Peru to China to Australia, it's a symphony of human emotion, our joy, sorrow, and creativity. The golden record is a portrait of our world, a greeting card sent to the cosmos. It's a declaration that even on our small planet, we create beauty. Carl Sagan called it a bottle cast into the cosmic ocean. The record is a gift to the universe, a sharing of our soul. Voyager's journey may last a billion years, but its message is timeless. It's a story told for an audience we may never meet. The golden record is our hope, our art, and our invitation to the stars. It's humanity's greeting, echoing through the void. Voyager 1 carries our story into eternity. For decades, Voyager 1 sent back precious data from the edge of the unknown. Its faint signal was our only direct link to interstellar space, a whisper from the dark. Built with 1970s technology, its computer has less memory than a car key fob, yet it endured radiation, cold, and distance. Voyager became a symbol of endurance, pushing the boundaries of exploration, but now its power is fading. One day soon, it will fall silent, its final transmission marking the end of an era.
That last message will be the closing chapter of our farthest journey. The prospect is emotional. Voyager has been part of our collective consciousness for generations. Like a distant family member, we cherish every message. The idea of a final word is poignant, forcing us to reflect on what we've learned. Voyager's silence will be a goodbye, but also a celebration of what we achieved. It's a story about exploration and about letting go. The end of Voyager's voice will mark the end of a chapter, but not the end of our curiosity. Its journey reminds us of the value of reaching out, even when we may never hear back. Voyager's final whisper will echo in our imagination for generations. In late 2023, something strange happened. Voyager 1's data stream turned to gibberish. The spacecraft was still alive, but the information it sent was meaningless, a repeating pattern of ones and zeros. The culprit, the Flight Data Subsystem, or FDS, was stuck in a loop. It was like getting a call from a distant friend, but only hearing a single, nonsensical word. NASA's team was baffled, flying blind with no idea about the spacecraft's health or status. Commands took nearly two days to reach Voyager and return, making diagnosis agonizingly slow. The public saw not just a technical glitch, but a deep space enigma, our farthest emissary sending a broken message from the void. Was it hardware decay, or something stranger? The glitch was a stark reminder of the immense challenges of deep space exploration. Voyager's long survival was the miracle. Failure was always the expected norm. We were on the verge of losing our only eyewitness in interstellar space. The silence threatened to plunge us back into darkness. NASA's engineers refused to give up. They sent a command for a full memory readout from the FDS, a long shot, but their only hope. When the data arrived, it was a jumble of code. After weeks of analysis they found the culprit, a single failed memory chip. This tiny chip had corrupted the FDS software, causing the stream of gibberish. The cause? Either decades of wear, or a cosmic ray from a distant supernova. The truth was humbling. The universe is indifferent, and even our best machines are vulnerable, but the story didn't end there. The engineers devised a workaround bypassing the broken chip and rearranging the code in the FDS memory. In April 2024 they sent the patch to Voyager. It worked. Voyager 1 began sending back intelligible data for the first time in months. It was a triumph of human ingenuity over cosmic adversity. The universe may be hostile, but our determination endures. Voyager's voice was restored, if only for a little longer. Our wanderer was speaking clearly once more. Voyager 1's glitch had a technical cause, but it tapped into a deeper fear. The fear of the unknown. This is the essence of cosmic horror. Realizing our insignificance in a vast, indifferent universe. Voyager, alone in the interstellar dark, becomes a symbol of these anxieties. When its messages turned to gibberish, imagination ran wild. What if it wasn't just a failure? The unknown is both thrilling and terrifying. We are only beginning to explore the cosmic ocean, and frontiers are unpredictable. Voyager is our scout. When its messages falter, we wonder what it might have encountered. The silence or confusion from our farthest probe is a powerful reminder of how little we know. The mystery of the last message reflects our hopes and fears. For some it's a poetic end, for others it's a lingering mystery. Even a tiny chance of a final shocking discovery is enough to fuel awe and wonder. Voyager 1's most important message wasn't about distant worlds, it was about us. In 1990, at Carl Sagan's request, Voyager turned its camera back and captured the pale blue dot. From 4 billion miles away, Earth appeared as a tiny speck in a sunbeam, a fragile dot in the vastness. Sagan wrote, Look again at that dot, that's here, that's home, that's us. All our joys, sufferings and histories played out on that mote of dust. The image is a humbling perspective, showing our world without borders or divisions. It's a powerful antidote to arrogance, reminding us of our shared home. The pale blue dot urges us to treat each other kindly and cherish our planet. Voyager's journey holds up a mirror to humanity, making our world seem smaller and more precious. Its challenges, distance, radiation, decay, are metaphors for our own struggles. The Voyager team's cooperation and ingenuity are a model for solving problems on Earth. Through shared purpose we can achieve the extraordinary. Voyager's legacy is a lesson in humility and hope. Voyager 1's mission will end, its power fading, its signal ceasing. Yet its legacy will endure as long as we remember. 
It changed our understanding of the solar system and inspired generations. Voyager is a symbol of human ambition, curiosity, and the audacity to reach for the stars. Its journey will outlast our civilizations, drifting through the Milky Way for millions of years. The golden record will remain, a message to whoever might find it. Voyager's story encourages us to be curious, brave, and united. It gives us perspective on our place in the universe. The final message, whether data or silence, is a call to keep exploring. Voyager urges us to continue the journey, to question, and to never lose our sense of wonder. Its echo will inspire explorers for generations to come.